Hi everyone, we're here with Kamaran today and hi, we're going to be talking a little bit about chiropractic and athletic performance. Um, so Kamaran, do you have many athletes come to you for chiropractic and what kinds of athletes? So yes, I have a lot of athletes that come and see me <clears throat> very commonly, especially being in Manchester, a lot of football players. Uh, I have some tennis players that come and see me, a lot of runners maybe short distance, medium distance, quite a few sprinters and golfers. So I see a lot of golfers as well. And what kinds of issues do they have? Okay, d depending on different kind of sport that they're playing, uh, footballers that come to see me, they have a lot of ankle sprains. Uh, some of them have got knee issues. Uh, golfers that come to see me, they've got a lot of tennis elbow, golfer's elbow and shoulder problems and a lot of low back pain because of the swing. The sprinters that I see or the runners that I see, they have a lot of uh, misalignments in their low back. So they, they're finding that sometimes their stride length is not so good. So sometimes they get some back pain or they get some calf or hamstring pain. So that's basically in a nutshell there. Isn't it? Yeah. And, um... Why do, why do they get these issues? What's going on inside of right. the body? Perfect. I'll use a football player first of all, because I see a lot of football players. And they have come in a lot of ankle sprains. So we look at our lovely Fred. Say hi, Fred. Hi, Fred. <laughs> <laughs> what happened is that the spine, which needs to have a nice straight alignment from the front and a, a nice curvy alignment from the side, so we call it cervical lordosis, thoracic kyphosis, and lumbar lordosis. Some patients, for some reason, the pelvis is slightly misaligned. And that will cause the spine to compensate to that misalignment. So football players sometimes have chronic ankle sprains, right or left, or sometimes both. It's because the alignment of the pelvis is off. So we want to make sure that we get the spine aligned as much as it can but also look at the other joints involved. Using a golfer, for example, there's a lot of swing, there's a lot of torsion involved. So you have a lot of wear and tear in the lower back. So what happens? There'll be a lot of compression. Again, when we look at golfers, we look at the full alignment, because ultimately you want a nice, beautiful swing. So to summarize it, it's about alignment of the spine, actually, because you've got to understand if you have a good posture, you have a good spinal alignment, your shoulders, your hips, your legs will be in a much better position. Well, thanks Kamara for explaining more about that and thanks everyone for watching. If you've My got pleasure. any questions for Kamara, leave them in the comments below and we'll get back to you. <laughs>